Hi everyone, my name is Christian Ferrandino. I use he, him pronouns, and I'm from Lancaster, California. Um, I'm a third year mechanical engineering major, concentrating in energy resources here at Cal Poly. Um, first thing about my major, you might be wondering maybe what is mechanical engineering, or maybe what type of career can I pursue with a degree in mechanical engineering? So to answer that with the textbook definition, it's the design, manufacture, and system integration in a wide variety of engineering applications. To me, that means that this major prepares you to be a jack of all trades in the engineering discipline. Um, and the cool thing about that is that it doesn't really matter what type of industry you wanna go into. Um, most engineering companies will have a need for mechanical engineers, and that could be in any number of roles. Um, I believe that that's best summed up in the different concentrations offered within the major. So those concentrations include the first one being HVAC and R, which is the mechanical systems for industrial applications and any of the four things represented in that acronym. So HVAC and R stands for heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Second concentration is mechatronics. So mechatronics has to do more with manufacturing automation and robotics. Um, third concentration is manufacturing. So manufacturing has to do with pretty much fabrication processes and just how things are made. Um, the fourth concentration is energy resources. And energy resources is having to do with energy conversion and maybe if you wanna pursue a career in renewable, nuclear, or petroleum engineering, this would be the way to go for you. Um, the last but not least, there's the general concentration. And so this one doesn't really have a specialization, kind of like the other four concentrations do, but what it does allow you to do is build more of that wide base of knowledge for yourself. And that is in the form of taking any elective classes in the other concentrations. So say you want to take like an HVAC class, a couple of manufacturing classes and an energy resource class. Uh, you could do that with the general concentration, which is something that's really cool. Um, so kind of just going through um, a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, you start out your first year. And what's really cool about it is your first year, unlike um, a lot of schools, I know you go in, you take your general ed your first year, and then you go into your major classes. Here at Cal Poly, you kind of start right away. So my first year, I took welding, I took machining, casting, um, drafting, or like engineering drawing, and modeling my first year. So you kind of really jump in right away and start getting experience right away, which is something that's really cool. Um, after you take those, you get your background in kind of mathematics and physics, um, like those calculus classes that you need. And another thing, after you take those, you start taking other sort of engineering classes so that you could build um, kind of more of a breadth of understanding. So you'd be taking classes in say like civil, electrical, uh, BMED, industrial and manufacturing, uh, materials engineering, um, on top of kind of the mechanical engineering classes like say dynamics, statics, um, your upper divisions like thermodynamics, fluid mechanics and system design. Um, and that kind of culminates in the senior design project, which you take your last year. Um, and so that kind of sums up the coursework within the major. Um, other than that, cool thing about the major is the design teams. So design teams are an awesome way to gain experience. Um, it's a professional like setting where you could gain industry experience before you go into industry really. Um, and these are student run. So they're kind of like clubs, but they're also like teams. Um, so these include Formula SAE or Cal Poly Racing, where the team builds a race car each year. Um, Polysat, which will allow you to send CubeSats into space. Um, there's also Hyperloop and Prove, which are also really cool. Um, other than that, another resource that's available are the machine shops. So machine shops are awesome because you could go in there and work on any personal or class projects as long as you're trained and they're open. 
Um, so it could be anything from like cutting up pieces of wood to laser cutting something, welding something. Um, really, if they have the equipment for it, you could go in there and use it. Um, and last thing I wanted to really touch up on are the diversity and inclusion resources available. Um, there are different clubs. So there's SHEP, which is an engineering club targeted towards Latinx and Hispanic students. There's NSBE, or the National so Society of Black Engineers. Um, there's SWE, the Society of Women Engineers. And outside of these clubs, there's also uh, resources such as MEP, Multicultural Engineering Program, or WEP, Women's Engineering Program. Uh, these are good sources of support if you need it. Um, even if you don't need it, I'd highly recommend going to them and checking them out. And I guess really the last thing I want to say is that one thing that drove me to this major outside of the coursework and the breadth of study and kind of that wide knowledge that you get, um, I'd say one thing that brought me to it was the reputation that the major has. So there's a really strong alumni network connected to this major. Um, I found that within industry, it's that the program here at Cal Poly for mechanical engineering is widely respected. Um, there's people who work at Tesla, um, Lockheed Martin, NASA, Boeing, um, all over the place really with mechanical engineering majors. And it's highly respected within industry. Um, so you could find professors who've worked in maybe like your dream job and you could go talk to them and see what's up with them, see how they enjoyed it, see if they have any recommendations for you. Um, and even at career fairs, some people might have graduated in the same, um, the same major that you're majoring in. And it's just something that's really cool to see. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it about my major. Um, hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.